Yo, what's up, people? May removes Papa John Snatter's name from hometown gym in wake of controversy. Mails back four hundred thousand donation, four hundred thousand dollars donation. The fallout from Papa John Snatter's use of a racial slur continues in the wake of his resignation. Mike Moore, the mayor of Schnatter's hometown of Jeffersonville, Indiana, has announced that a field house named for the controversial Papa John's founder will no longer bear his name. He has also mailed back a donation, Schnatter. Let me pause for a second there. Every time I see this name, Schnatter, I think about William Shatner. It's not spelled the same. It's actually pronounced different, but it looks really similar. Anyway, where was I? Schnatter had committed to the building in 2017. Okay. The city of Jeffersonville represents a very diverse community, Mia Moore said Wednesday, as reported by the Louisville Courier Journal. It was a tough decision, but I believed it was the right decision. This is a picture of the mayor. The field house, which since 2017 was known as the John H. Schnatter, was this? Nacon, Nachon, or Nachon field house, will revert back to its original name, Nachon Field House. Schnatter's name was added to the building after he pledged $800,000 towards its renovations, which were currently ongoing. Moore confirmed to Fox News that he mailed back 400000 of Schnatter's pledged donation, the entirety of what he says Schnatter had paid so far, back on Thursday morning. Okay. Okay, the, uh, I won't go any further. Right here, they're just repeating what what um, that John guy said. Anyway, it seems to me that, you know, a lot of white folks have more balls than black folks. Because I'm out here listening to some people on YouTube saying, it's not a lot, saying that, you know, Papa John's, is it tastes really good, so they won't boycott or they won't stop eating Papa John's and stuff like that. Now, I'm not necessarily telling people to stop eating Papa John's. It's, I mean, you, you have every right to stop eating it or to continue or whatever. But what I'm saying in my videos is, Stuff like this should be eye-opening for us. For us to stop being lazy, you know, stop thinking so much about integration and come together as black folks and create our own, you know, because we're not stupid, we're not dumb. We're, we're actually people with bright minds. Just look at all the stuff black people have gone through in terms of racism and hardship and stuff like that, and we're still here. We still find ways and means to, 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 to survive. That has to say something. You know, that must mean something. So we really don't need a Papa John's or, or you know, whichever company or, or merchants who don't like black people. We really don't need them. We have brains. We have manpower. And we have money. We have money. Just look at how much money is being spent on Jordans. And how much money is being spent on weaves. Okay? So I'm pretty sure we could come together. Maybe not everybody, but, you know, strong-minded black people, smart black people. We, we could come together and, um, and build something. You know, build our own pizza chain. Build our own restaurants. You know, um, we could make our own clothes. It's possible. It really is. You know, but of course we're going to have some people who will be like, you know, 
I'm not leaving the White House, I'm not leaving Massa's house, I'm not leaving this, I'm not leaving that. Those people could stay, all right? Those people can stay. Everybody's not going to be on the same page. I understand that, you know, but we have to we have to get something done. I'm sorry, we just have to. You know, um, there's a restaurant that a few Jamaicans have created called Golden Crust. It's all over New York City. I mean, you'll find it in Florida. I think they have a Golden Crust in, in California. Probably in L.A. You know, Kid Organic probably could tell me if they have one there. But that's an example of black people just starting their own chains. It can happen. You get what I'm saying? Regardless of whether you love Papa John's, regardless of how good it might taste, I mean, these people don't like y'all. They don't like us. They like the money, but they really don't like us. You know, and it's going to take a lot of work to start our own stuff, but it can happen. It can. I don't know how, how many ways to say it. I don't know which other language to say it in, but these things are eye-openers, and they've been happening and happening over and over again. And at some point, we just have to wake up. We're just going to have to trust each other and start our own shit. I don't think there's any harm in that. Anyway, I'll see you guys some other time, but it seems to me like white folks have more balls than black folks. This guy gave back $400,000 and took down this guy's name, okay? And we have black folks out here being afraid to voice their opinions. Not all black folks, but we have a few black folks out here. They're afraid of boycotting. They're afraid of leaving Papa John's alone for good and other companies like that. And I do understand, you know, we, we don't have industries like this to feed ourselves, but we can. Everybody else has. We can do it. We can do it if we put our minds to it and stop hating each other and start trusting each other. We can. I'll see you guys some other time.